Hey folks, Bill here. Today I'd like to show you how I created uh, this image from uh, something like this. This is what I originally started off with. But first, I'd like to give you a little bit of the background of just exactly uh, where it was and what I went through to get the images. My wife and I love to camp and here in Louisiana uh, just north of New Orleans there is a little town of Madisonville and just north of it is uh, Fairview State Park and that particular weekend we camped at Fairview State Park that afternoon we went to Madisonville had a wonderful dinner and then we traveled down this road 1077 it only took maybe 15 minutes to go down the road and this road ends at the Madisonville boat launch and right on the boat launch just right across over here around here is where the sunken tugboat is and further west is the uh, Tafungchi River Lighthouse. So um, it kind of gives you a little orientation of where it was. And as you can see, um, we just got out there. I did not have a um, tripod, so I wasn't worried about doing um, multiple exposures and um, high dynamic, you know, exposed for the sky and then exposed for the ship or for the boat um, I just basically took pictures and did a little fishing and just had fun uh, basically right here on the edge you can see I'll double click here's the sunken tugboat and back in the distance you can see the lighthouse back to my grid view I just hit grid G for grid there's a lighthouse another image of the lighthouse and the sunken boats with the Sun setting and so I uh, kind of scrolled through and next out several of them and I um, settled on this image right here And what I um, what I did, let's see. I went into edit, and this is on one twenty twenty three. And the first thing I do is uh, AI auto. It helps a little bit. It, opened up the boat just a little bit um, I could bring up the exposure tad open up the shadows quite a bit bring in that that's not bad hold my J key down and check on my uh, blacks okay blacks will show up as blue and my whites will show up as red so uh, my whites, I'm going to bring them down a little bit. This is the setting sun. So, um, from there, I went to the sky. And in the sky, you have selections of night, storm, clouds, sunset this is a, a sunset so I selected that now I don't know if on one analyzed and selected this photo for the sky automatically or if it was a default or if I use the sky last and it just showed up but um, out of all of the sunset skies you can come here it's selected 022 if I select this you can scroll through and just wait a second they'll show up the different skies 
that you have to select but after going through all of the skies and also the skies that I photographed and have in um, the 022 to me was the best fit I um, then did a well while I was in the sky you can shift the horizontal horizon also up or down but as you can see I mean it was just basically a perfect fit just dropped right on the horizon um, I can come and select ref the uh, foreground lighting if you can bring it up and down you can see right up here the reflection it did help quite a bit to add a little bit of a cast on it and then you can select the reflections and then I uh, shift the vertical of the reflection as you can see see down on the lower end you can see it um, changing and I like it down a little dark somewhere around there um, then I'm gonna crop I'm do C for crop I'm all I'm set for an 8x10 crop and I'm going to do the level I'm a little bit off level you can see right here I'll select the horizon Oops. select my leveling tool click on the horizon and click on the horizon right here and I adjust it a little bit I'm gonna bring in hit return and it's starting to shape up I will go to local do a local setting I want to lighten up I want to lighten up this area right here and I've got my I'm using my scrolling on my mouse to make my brush smaller or larger you can use the bracket open and close bracket keys uh, I am set to paint in because I'm lightening and my opacity is set at like 52 also I want to select this magic perfect brush and I'm going to lighten up certain areas that I want to highlight Once I've done that, I'll come over here and the exposure, I'm going to bump up the exposure so I can see a little bit like that. Looks good. Bump up the contrast a little bit. Now, another thing I would do is I would come into effects, add a filter. Now before 2023, I would have to go into dynamic contrast or let's say if we wanted to put HDR look on it. An HDR look just slapped it on the whole image. And before I would have to come into the masking option invert the mask and I would have to paint in and then I would paint in my look onto the boat 
and some subjects might be kind of tedious doing this but for now I'm going to X this out because now with 2023 20, you come in add a filter and if you come over here you can select all none architect water as you can see when I go over to water this water turns red as indicating the selection sky and here's transport and it's intelligent enough to find the tugboat so I'm going to select that and you know it's selected because it gives it a highlighted blue and then you can pick dynamic contrast or HDR or whatever you want and I'll select the HDR Maybe bump up the clarity a little bit. We turn it off and on to see the effects. And you can drop the opacity just a bit. And another thing I would like to do is come in and add a vignette. Add a big softy. drop the feather down reduce the size and the roundness I want it a little more round and then I'm going to move the vignette to about right here bump the feather back up now it's looking good I'm changing the opacity a little bit I like what it's doing here but it's a little too strong up around here I don't want the vignette to show up on there so what I'm going to do is come into the masking options I'm going to change this to paint out change the f opacity from 52 to probably 30 make a larger brush and I want to paint out the effects on the sky up here and around And you can see what's happening on the mask up here. You can see it. Black conceals and white reveals. So, if I turn my vignette off and on, you can see it's darkened up that. And if I hit my backslash key, you can see what we started with hit the backslash key this is what we wind up with and uh, I hope it was short and sweet and I hope you learned something thanks